Well, hello and happy fall to you all. And I know fall officially starts on a certain date. Science has yet to figure it out, but I don't really consider it to be the actual season of fall until it stops being 90 degrees, which living in the Midwest, that's a little difficult because the weather here is not consistent. It can be like 50 degrees for two solid days and then shoot up to 88 for like the entire weekend. So it's difficult to tell when exactly fall has arrived. Some of us try to manifest it, you know, we buy pumpkin spice lattes even if the heat index is borderline concerning. We wear sweaters or flannels even if we get sweaty doing it. And some of us break out our fall palettes. Now, interesting note, I am kind of really liking the delicate pink makeup look right now, but that doesn't mean we can't go back and forth. Also, side note, there's no rule that says you have to change your makeup seasonally, but if you are looking for some inspiration, I'm gonna break out my fall palettes, show you what I love. I do this every year, so you are gonna notice a few repeats and some newer ones, ones that you have suggested, actually. So let's get on into it. If you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. And let's start with our cheaper friends from e.l.f., the Bite Size Shadows. The first one that I really enjoy is Berry Bad because I feel like it's such a perfect little warm cranberry kind of look. You can essentially create a complete look with this because you have a really nice transition and smoking out shade. And you can have a little fun with the shimmers here. I really think the Bite Size palettes are such great quality and I always enjoy breaking these out because you can just, you can have a lot of fun. There's some neutrals, there are some colorful ones. This obviously falls into the colorful scale, and I love them. And speaking of pumpkin spice, let's talk about pumpkin pie. If you're a neutral lover who wants to warm up your look a little bit, I would highly suggest checking this shade out because it's a more subtle nod to fall. You'll notice a bit more oranginess on this side, and I think that's a really great delicate way of bringing that into your eyeshadow wardrobe. It's a nice gentle introduction to just a smidge more color. These kind of remove the decision fatigue with eyeshadow because they're just two shadow looks. You know, that's kind of all you need. So if you're in a hurry and you just want to throw something on before you run into the office or run an errand, what have you, here you go. A newer one to my collection is the M Cosmetics Divine Skies in Faded Clementine. I'm really enjoying this. I should either have a full M Cosmetics review either coming up or on its way, so if it's here, I'll link it. If not, stay tuned. I'm, you know, ironing out the kinks and all that, but this, I think, is a really nice, fun, intense, colorful fall palette. I really enjoy the mattes. I think they're so pretty. And this is a nice pocket-sized palette. So let's say you enjoy the warmer tones, but you don't want a giant palette full of them. This might be exactly what you're looking for. I think you'll really enjoy it, especially if you have a deeper skin tone because the shades are just so intense and just so pigmented. I think they'll look gorgeous. And I also love that it has a sparkly gold which is my favorite thing. So I've uh, been liking this quite a bit. This next suggestion came from one of my subscribers. Um, one of you had watched my Mandalorian review and you said, that looks like such a great cool tone fall palette. And I looked at it and I'm like, you're right. It is a good cool tone fall palette. And I really like that you brought that up because when we think of fall and makeup, we tend to think of very warm tones and our good friends, the cooler tones do tend to get left behind. So I'm glad you brought this up. I think you can create some beautiful fall inspired looks with this, especially this row. Mm. Magnifique. I love digging into this and I'm super excited to break it out a little bit more. So we're gonna go from neutral to just the way extreme. I love ColourPop or Kid You Not, and what better time to break out some plummy shades than in the fall. And I guess into winter too. This is also a beautiful winter palette. Again, if you're somebody who changes up your makeup seasonally, I think you can do a lot because you've got some really nice cool tones and also some warmer plums, and the shimmers are really beautiful. This palette, quality-wise, is really phenomenal. I know ColourPop can be very hit or miss with their palette quality. However, I think in this case, they really raised the bar. I'm so glad I got my hands on it, and I can't wait to put together some purple plummy looks with this. For a more grungy option, I do really enjoy the Rimmel Magnifies Jeweled Rocks edition. It is, I guess, kind of cool toned. 
kinda. What is grunge but some cool toned green goodness? You do have a lot you can play with here. These two random blues, I don't know what they're doing. I don't really ever touch them, but everything else I think contributes to a really gorgeous look that pairs so beautifully with the changing leaves and gosh I just love this palette. I wish people talked about Rimmel more because I think they're a very high quality brand that just keeps disappearing from my local drugstores. So if you see this palette, snatch it up because it's pretty spectacular. And finally, a veteran of the fall eyeshadow palette video series is the Alter Ego Aurora palette. It is very much the warm tone, reds, yellows, berry shades that we love to dig out this time of year. And there's such a variety of warm tone looks you can create with this. You can really have a lot of fun. You can go really intense, really deep, or you can keep it light and keep it fun. I do like that there are variations in shimmers. You've got like the standards, the sparkly gold, a duochrome, so you can have a lot of fun with it. If you're looking to get into these kinds of tones, Alter Ego is really affordable and the quality is off the walls, bananas good. I would highly suggest picking this up and a lot of YouTubers even have affiliate codes. I believe the one I used when I picked this up was uh, Amy Loves Makeup, her affiliate code, so yeah, you don't even have to pay full price, it's excellent. Um, I mention this as a great warm tone palette a lot, but especially as fall comes into season, it does bear repeating. Hey guys, editing Maggie, and I'm just realizing I forgot about a couple of palettes that admittedly were kind of newer to my collection, but I figured deserved a shout out anyways. The first being ColourPop Really Ruby. I think this is kind of similar to the Elf Berry Bad. It's deep cranberry rich goodness. Packaging is terrible, but if you're looking for a bit of a different spin on a rich wine cranberry kind of look, I do think this is the way to go. Lorac Mini Pro Palette in Simmering is probably the closest thing to a neutral fall palette. The mattes are a lot more subtler than I think you'd be led to believe, but the shimmers are quite intense, really sparkly, so if that's something that would appeal to you, if you want neutral but make it fall, I would suggest going with that. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, back to the video. All right, everyone, there you have it. Those are my fall eyeshadow palette recommendations for this year. We did see a lot of repeats, which I guess speaks to just how much I enjoy these shadows. There were a few that I wanted to include, but they were sadly discontinued. So shout out to BH Cosmetics Smitten in Switzerland and Wet n Wild Coffin Break and ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie at Foresight. Sorry, I had to. I know you guys hear me talk about that palette all the time, but it is a real favorite. I did try to keep everything that was like already existing in this video. But let me know, are you the kind of person who changes your makeup up seasonally, or will you just wear whatever feels right in the moment? I kind of do a little bit of both, because like I said, I am really enjoying pink makeup right now, but I also love getting into warm tones this time of year. Also, does it actually become fall where you live, or just, or do you have chaos weather like I do? Leave a comment, let a gal know. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.